Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very quick DIY project. I wanted to share it with you guys. I figured why not? Um, I have these little TV trays that my sister-in-law let me paint and I figured I would go ahead and show you how I did that. I am doing like, more of a farmhouse style on these. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so to get started, I'm just quickly sanding down the top. The only reason why I did this was because the top of the table had a few scratches on it and I wanted to try to smooth those out. Um, it, they were actually in really great shape. These are my sister-in-law's, by the way, and if you missed the TV stand makeover I did over at her house, I will be sure to link that video below, but I had some leftover paint and she had these and she was like, I would really love to paint these too. I figured why not, I'll give it a shot, try to do them similar to the TV stand so that way everything matched. I failed a little bit. <laughs> I will share with you the process of what I did, but sometimes you make mistakes during projects and they don't always come out the way you anticipate and that is okay. Don't give up. I've always said that. Don't ever give up on projects. Keep going because you just never know what it could turn out to be. Even when you think you've completely destroyed it, keep going. You just never know. So I am doing a coat of white paint on the whole thing and not really worrying too much about how it looks because I planned on um, doing a few coats and then distressing, but here's where I messed up. So the actual tables are very, you know, yellow wood and I don't know what I was thinking like when I went to go distress, why I thought they would magically turn brown. I don't know. But as soon as I distressed, the yellow wood came through and it looked absolutely terrible. And even when I tried the wax, it just was not working for, with this chalk paint. So you'll see what I did to fix that in just a moment. All right, so this is what it looks like with one coat. You can see there's definitely some, um, you know, marks and stuff. I didn't worry about it too much because I knew I was going to be distressing, but this is the part where I messed up. I tried to rub off and they it turned yellow, obviously, duh. But <laughs> um, then I was like, well, let me take some antique wax and try to just gently rub it on a few areas and see if I can make it look natural. Well, it just wasn't looking right for the colors that are in her house, so I decided to... I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to slap a bunch on here and just see what happens. And then I was like, oh no, this is not what she asked for. <laughs> so then I panicked. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to paint the whole thing dark really roughly. Just throw on a bunch of like dark paint and then paint over it white again and see if I can pull it off. And it worked. So that's how I saved the project. Right here, it actually looks really pretty, but what you cannot see in the video is that the paint was rubbing off. Um, it just, yeah, it just wasn't working. So I started over. This is the part where I'm just slapping on some dark brown paint and hoping that when I repaint it white, it looks good. So as you can see, I'm just very messily painting this all over the table. It doesn't have to be perfect because I knew I was going to be painting over it white again. And I just wanted those dark tones to peek through the white. That was what I should have done originally. So if you are going to be doing a table like this, skip the step I did with the white and just paint it dark first and then do the white over it. If you want like more of a natural distressed look, if you don't mind the um, antique wax, then go for that. But 
I didn't just didn't like the way it was looking. So now after letting that dry, I am taking this Valspar paint. The only reason why I'm using this is because it was all I had on hand. I ran out of chalk paint. So I'm using this Valspar semi-gloss paint and going right over top of all that dark brown. It was dry, by the way. I always forget to tell y'all that. I always let my coats dry in between, especially if I'm working on a table or any type of furniture piece. And I am not doing this very nicely. I'm once again just kind of messily painting it on because I want that brown to show through and it worked. Y'all, it was not, it's not the best project, not gonna lie. It's not my top 10, but it's okay. <laughs> not everything can be perfect. I am not perfect. I'm definitely not a professional painter. I just go with the flow and hope that it turns out okay. All right, so I quickly wanted to mention that while I'm painting over the brown, I am trying my best to be as light-handed as possible and also not applying a ton of paint to the paintbrush. That way I can get that distressed look without actually having to distress and save a little bit of time. So that was the goal here. I didn't want to have to paint the whole thing white again and then distress. I was just trying to get it all done with like one stroke of white paint. And honestly, I'm very, very happy with the way it turned out. And I'll probably try this technique in the you know, in the future. And it's funny because I actually remember doing this to my, uh, what was it? The fireplace. I did this technique with the fireplace a long, long time ago. Um, I will link that video below if you have never seen us build our fireplace, but it was, you know, that pine wood and I did a really rough paint of brown, like I painted it all brown. And then I went over it with white and it gave a really pretty finish. So this might be really easy for some of you who don't like sanding or having to paint the entire project. A solid color and then distress this might save you some time so definitely try this out if you have an old piece of furniture that you really don't know what you want to do with try to slap some old paint on there and then add some white and see what happens To seal this project today, I'm using the Watco Crystal Clear Lacquer in the semi-gloss finish, and I am just spraying this on very lightly for the first coat, and then I did a second coat a little bit heavier, and then after the second coat, I did sand very lightly using some fine sandpaper. To be honest with you guys, I only did it to the top, you know, there's just too many little things to try to sand. <laughs> so I only sanded the top down a little bit and then went over it again with a thicker coat. And after, th I think it is four coats total, um, it feels a very strong and sturdy and it dried really well. So I will keep you updated on how it holds up, but so far, so good. Alright, so here's a quick reminder how they looked like before I got started, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have some of these tables. They are really, really inexpensive and great to have, super convenient, and I just wanted to quickly share this makeover and show you how you can upcycle them a little bit, make them a little bit more modern looking, and match your decor. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all!